it's it's stressing. Like my mouth is shaking. I don't know. What you to are say. doing great. Hi, welcome to Cardboard Mats. I'm Will, and, and I, I'm Danny. And this is a special guest I have here. This is my son, and he is on the channel with me here a little bit earlier than planned. When I started my YouTube channel, I asked him earlier if he wanted to be on a video with me, and he says, "Go oh, hold on, hold Dad. How many subscribers do you have?" And at the time, it was very, I mean, it's still not very many, but it was even less then. And he's like, hey, Dad, ask me when you have over 100. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not 100 yet at the time of filming this, but he is either bored or he's just excited. And he's here to play his favorite game with me. Uh, we will teach you how to play the game. We'll do a one round or, or one full game playthrough, and then uh, we'll give you our review afterwards. All right, so let's get down to the table and we'll show you how to play. All right, so before we start, this is designed by Gordon Hamilton from Roxley Games. It is what you would call an abstract game uh, in the same vein as chess or go, where you are doing uh, very precise you know, kind of movements and actions uh, in order to beat your opponent. Uh, the whole goal of this game is to jump up onto the third level in order to win or prevent your opponents from doing that uh, or, or performing one of their actions on their turn and if you're able to do so then you win. So how, what that looks like is we have these fantastic little building blocks and we have a, a base level which you'll have to remember to always use that, use that as the base, a more perfectly square you know middle or middle building and then a little pinnacle that is the third upper, you know, the upper level. And then there is a blue dome that fits, oops, that fits on the very top of the building. And when it's all together, it really does look like the buildings from, from the town of Santorini. And so while you're playing the game, you are going to have little figures. For a two-player game, there will be two figures each. And uh, the three or four player game is a little bit different. The three is pretty much the same as the two, except you're playing with three different colors and three people. Uh, with the four player game, however, you are sharing workers. Uh, and so that's it's more of a team game than, than a individual free for all. Uh, to start the game, you first are going to have to give out a random god power or choose your favorite. Each god power will have First of all, a very important number, so you can check them in the rule book to see what they do. Uh, they may have a little symbol in the top right to see if they're part of an expansion, like the Golden Fleece. And they will have a little series of little figureheads that will show whether it is compatible with three or four players. Uh, all, all characters are compatible with two, but not all are with three or four. And of course, the god that they are based on Nice little art picture and what their ability does. I will not go over all of them in detail, uh, and they are very well explained in general in the rule book. We will be playing uh, random powers once we start. Once everybody gets a power, starting with the first player, they'll place both of their workers somewhere on the board, and then the next player, next player, and so on, until everybody has their figures out, and then they will begin. On your turn, you must Right, I, and I emphasize that you must move with one worker. You can move to any adjacent hex, uh, orthogonal and um, diagonal. That's right. Any adjacent hex. You know, try to hold it so that you they can see it in the camera because your hand blocks it. Uh, and then you must build. And to build, you do have to build the buildings to order, but you have to build. Is if it's following the same rules of it being adjacent to your figure. So if I started here, you know, I could move, then I have to build on a free space. I cannot build on top of another character, you know, unless there's special god powers that allow you to break the rules. You may see some things like that. And then your turn is over. If you are unable to move one of your characters, and, or if you are unable to build with the character that you've been moved, then you immediately lose the game. And if in the case of a four-player game, your entire your team loses as soon as that happens. Alternatively, 
in order to win, you're gonna have to climb up to the to the third level and jump up onto that level. And how that's gonna look is when you climb upwards, you can only jump upwards one level at a time. So you'd have to go from a one to a two, and then a two to a three, in which case you will immediately win. But remember, if an opponent decides to build on top of a three, a dome is placed, capping it off, preventing anybody from winning there. So setting up your position so you can get a win, get up to the third level without someone catching you, is, is going to be a main part of the strategy. And like I said, the god powers will really change that up. The game is quite fun, even without the god powers, but uh, you know there is a lot to choose from as well as the Golden Fleece expansion, which we will not be playing on today. Uh, if you want to see how the Golden Fleece expansion works, let us know in the comments and maybe we'll do another playthrough on a different day. But that is the game. We are going to go ahead and start. So, Daniel, you want blue characters? Yep. And why don't we do random god power here? And you pick oh, one... Oh, I forgot to shuffle these. We... Yeah. Oh, I showed the bottom few. Yeah. But... Shuffle them up. Okay. All right. Pick one for yourself, and then pick one for me. Okay. And then pick one for me. Is that the same one we had last time we played? Yeah. Do you prefer a different one? No, I'm good. Okay. And I have. Oh yeah. Let's put these in front of the camera here. So Danny, it will be Triton. And he can swim really fast. <laughs> and uh, normally the uh, border is has nothing special, and you cannot leave the board. But there are characters that always break these rules. And how he works is when a character moves hey. onto a neighboring space. Yeah, sorry, not one of mine. <laughs> when one of Danny's characters moves on to a space that is along the outer edge, he can then immediately move again for free. And he could do this infinitely, you know, skating all around the board if he chooses until he decides to either stop or leave the middle of the board. So, quite powerful for movement. We'll see how that one works out. And I have Celine. And she, I believe, may build a. So let's see here, I'm getting a little player. She may build a dome at any level, meaning she can essentially, you know, build walls, the permanent walls and cap them off. I will double check to make sure that that can be done more than once, because some characters are a little more limited. 28. Yeah, uh, instead of your normal build, your feet, oh, it's, oh, okay, actually, it's a little more specific than that. I need to use a male character and a female character. They have to. I have to use different ones because that actually matters for this character. I don't think we've played with her yet. Uh, so instead of my normal build, my female worker may build a dome at any level, regardless of which worker moved. Interesting. So if I move my my male worker, the female can still place a dome at any level effectively capping off that space. So she is definitely more powerful than her male counterpart. Wait, does it say anything that you will have to move with that person in the No, it says it says regardless of which one moved. Oh okay. So I'm gonna put that here we're getting a little bit of glare still, but I think that's probably good enough. Okay, alright. Danny, since you're your youngest, why don't you go ahead and go first? Let's see. Oh wait, and I also have to start on one of the edges. Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think you have to start there. I think you just can move there more easily. I think that was a different character. Yeah, you, you don't have to start on the edge. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. Let's start there. So I need to remember which one. Oh no, you, put, you place them both out. Oh. And then I place both of mine, and then you go first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place my female or in the middle so she can potentially move, you know, build domes all over the place. And I'll put my 
my worker mail, my worker bee mail off to the side. <laughs> okay, Danny, you're first, go ahead. Which, by the way, there are a whole pack of little add-ons and little screens things from some of the different characters might need special tokens. So do reference the rule book to see if you need any of those. Let's see. Um, I'll move there and then go to there. Yeah, remember to be nice and loud for the camera. Okay, so now I... Well, Where are you building? I will place there. Okay. Wait, no. I will place there. Wait, no. I will place there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, we're, we're going to try to avoid the take backsies just for uh, keeping the video length down. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's move my mail worker and build over here. Go. I will jump up here and place this here. You know what, I, I didn't specify. I did mention you can only jump up one level at a time, but you can jump down from any number of levels. That's true. Mm -hmm. I am going to... You know, I'm going to move him up here. And I'm going to build... Oops, that's the wrong one. I'm going to build over here. I will move... this guy here and place that there. Okay. I'm going to move my female here, and I'm going to place a dome oh, on that yeah. spot, because normally, you can, again, you can only place them on the third level, which looks like a little little pinnacle of the building here, uh, but I can place them anywhere with the female. She's really good at either building or destroying buildings, I guess. I don't know. How about this, then? Wait. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can move any distance around the map. Let's go there and place here. Yeah, I forgot that you can uh, essentially move anywhere. Yeah, so it's easy to get away with me. I'm going to go here and I'm going to build up one. Let's see. I will move here and build there. Wait, yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to move him up and build a dome with my female. Mm, let's see. I will move him. Wait. Got yeah, trickery push nickety, I see. Um, <laughs> Let's see. I, I, I can be pretty sneaky at this game. This guy here and place there. Okay. I'm going to move here and I'm going to put a dome over your building. My gosh. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I feel like she's an aggressive character and I should play her as such. Um, let's see. Let's see. You can't make it anything. Ah. We'll move there. Go. Place that there. Okay. I'm gonna go here. And build there. Oh no. Um You see, I'm, I see I'm, I'm restricting your ability. You can't zoom around the map when there are domes blocking it. There and place there. Yeah, sorry, Danny. I don't know if you're going to be able to get away with that one. Um, oh, no, I guess you can. <laughs> you can't zoom across the maps from that side still. Uh, I think I will go here instead. And place. Aha. Yep. Yeah. But a boink. How will you beat that? Uh, I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna build a no. 
Or maybe I will. I'll go down there. Move here and place this there. Okay, and then move oh, here yeah. and raise up. And we'll move here and place there. Mm -hmm. Let's go here and build right here. And then move here and build here. Okay. I will move over here and build a dome over there. I will move there and build. Oh, there. nicely done. Yeah, I ain't good move, Danny. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do to beat you here. Yep. Well, I think it's your win. I'm just gonna go here and go. Yep, good job. Dun, dun. All right, you got me. Nicely done, stay. nicely done. All right. We have played this many, many times, <laughs> that's for sure. All right, so let's head back up. That was a, it was a pretty quicker than our usual game, I think, mm -hmm. but uh, let's go back and uh, we'll get your thoughts on uh, Santorini as a whole. All right, and that was Santorini, and you can see how the, the, the unique characters can really make things tricky. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I thought I was, you know, setting up some control with capping off domes everywhere, but Danny nicely got ahead of me and made it so that I could no longer get r r within reach of capping off your final building. Yep, and so, I think one of the things that made it possible for me to win is because the fact that you built this to a second level. Because then you would have to cap off one of them. Yeah, I, I should have. I should have instead of trying to work here on on winning myself. I should have just capped. Continued it. to move forward, and yeah, I'd either just capped it or can you try to block off further down. But uh, no, that was well played, Danny. Good job. Uh, all right. So, what do you think of first of all of the of the pieces? You played a fair number of board games with me. What do you think of the of the production and design of the game? They look cool because, like, there were details, like, windows and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're pretty simple. Like, they're just a little simple hauled-out plastic chunk, but when they when they are on the board, especially with the buildings on top of them, do you, do you think it actually looks kind of like the city? I, I, we've shown you pictures of the, the, the city of yeah, Santa Yeah, it kind of does. And it does have that unique style with the, uh, I guess it's the, the stucco white walls and the the blue dome buildings and, and of course the the ocean around the board is is nice too this is I believe the, well, the original kickstarter version so it's got uh you know a race platform and and the baseboard and it came with a fun little comic book and stuff and all the expansion things but yeah. all right what do you think of the actual like the gameplay itself the gameplay itself is cool because it has like powers that you can like change it up and like make it more confusing for other players and there was like <laughs> there was like a god power that you can jump off the map and go on to the other side yeah it, it makes the whole map wrap around like a globe so you can just walk yeah. around to the other side that one that one is cool uh yeah I, and, I, and i agree the the god powers elevate the game from a, a good simple abstract game to one that has just like, a massive amount of replayability. Uh, I mean, we do have this, this, well, the Kickstarter and the, um, what's it called, the Golden Fleece stuff, but there is so many powers, you're never going to see the same matchup twice, and, and games are never going to play out the same. 
Yeah, it does add just a, a huge amount of variability with some neat rules. And I think, I mean, the, the base game itself without the powers, what do you think it still would be fun to play? Not really, because it's just going to be like plain, plain like. But mo moving and building, moving and building. I still think it would be more fun than like checkers. That, or something. That's true. Right? Like, yeah. this some, or tic tac toe or one of those yeah. kinds of games. And I think it's. It's easy enough that we've been playing this game for a number of years now. Yeah. Right? I mean, you're quite a bit older now, yeah, but we've been playing it for a long time. So even smaller kids could play it without god powers. Uh, very small kids could play it, too. All that you have to do is just move one, like, place. Yeah. And uh, now what do you think about how, how challenging it can get? Do you think that, you know, like adults who you know, are looking for a game that they can play, you know, hundreds of times and really get into the strategy? Do you think there's enough here to be like a, like a chess or, or a go or something? Or do you think it's more of a, more of a simpler kids game? Um, wait, can you just stop this for a minute? My, my brain is like, <laughs> your, your brain can think for a second. That's fine. <sighs> Are you stressed out for being on the camera? Yeah. Yeah? It's it's stressing. Like, my mouth is shaking. I don't know what You to are say. doing great. You know, you're doing great. In case I leave this part in, please like and subscribe. Let us know if you want to see Danny back in the video here. He may be embarrassed, but it's fun having him on here. Yeah. All right. So let's get let's get down to Final Fun Review. What do, you, what do you think of this? What do you think? Would you recommend this game to other people? Yes, I would very much recommend this game to people like who are playing with like their friends and family and stuff. It's a really good game to just like interact and be kind of like sneaky with stuff. Yeah, and you can you can find it on Amazon or some of your local toy stores. Um, we we can see it around here in some places. Uh, it is a great family game. Uh, I think the the four player is not as fun. I know Mummy didn't like it quite as much uh, as we do. We play it three times with your big brother. Uh, we play it three players with your big brother a lot. Yep. And you and I play it a lot as two player. I think it's probably best at two. Would you agree? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's highly recommended. It's, it's surprisingly affordable too for, you know, a, a beautiful game. And uh, I think it, it has the depth for people looking for deeper games, but it's simple enough that, you know, kids can enjoy it and still have a great time. So I think that about wraps up here. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've been, you know, Will from Cover Minutes, and I've got here with me my son. Danny. Danny. Please like and subscribe, and tell us, have you, have you played Santorini, or, you just, or if you're familiar with Greek gods, what is your favorite, okay. your favorite just god or god power? The oh, person. is that the one? Yeah, the one that you can wrap around the world. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, let us know what is your favorite Greek god or god power. There is so many here to choose from. I think, uh, you know, your older brother is a bit of a, a Greek god fanatic because he reads all of the Percy Jackson books and yeah. he, he recognized pretty much every single one of these yeah. and, and has confirmed that the powers are fairly similar to what their actual powers would, would be. Yeah. You know, like Medusa being able to stomp on one of your enemies or, 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 or in other words, turn them into, into stone. Yeah. So it's pretty fun. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. I think that we are done here. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. <laughs>